in the strategy, but uh, this emergency manager bill where the, we've voted it down and they put it on the appropriations bill, which can't be removed. Right. What are you trying to do? Yeah, uh, well, it's a great question. And, and this issue hits close to home for me, literally, because one of the five communities I represent is the city of Pontiac. And the city of Pontiac has been under emergency management for about three and a half years now. They've had three different emergency managers in that time frame because uh, each one hasn't been getting the job done, and so they keep replacing them. And the current emergency manager in Pontiac is a guy by the name of Lou Schimmel who comes out of the Mackinac Center for Public Policy and brings a very right-wing uh, agenda with him. He thinks that no matter what the problem, privatization is the solution. And it's not to say that privatization isn't at least sometimes the solution. You know, it's worth consideration in some situations. But uh, in other situations, it's exactly the wrong policy. And Lou Schimmel thinks it's always the right policy, no matter what. Uh, and he comes from a very anti-union perspective. And that's true of, of most of these emergency managers. They're not at all focused on boosting economic activity in the local community. They're not at all focused on increasing revenue. They're focused on slashing costs, and that means devastating wages uh, and, and destroying benefits for uh, workers in these communities. And that's been their agenda. And, you know, it might... Uh, start to close the deficit initially in the very short term, but over the longer term, it's not sustainable, and it doesn't address the core causes of budgetary difficulties in these communities, which are really rooted in uh, deindustrialization and in economic dynamics that have really drained residents and businesses from these communities. And emergency managers do nothing to address those problems. And so. We saw, for example, eCourse was under an emergency manager some years ago, so it was Flint. And guess what? They're now back under emergency managers because these emergency managers don't fix the long-term problems. And so a, a referendum was put on the ballot last November on this, this newer emergency manager law that was passed in 2011. The voters overturned it and said we reject it. And the very next month, the Republican legislature and the governor passed a new emergency manager law that was virtually identical to the one that voters just repealed the, the month before. And as if that wasn't a big enough slap in the face to voters, saying we don't care what you think, a month later we're going to pass the same law again, they went even further in slapping voters in the face by putting a, a nominal appropriation on the bill to prevent another referendum from occurring because our Constitution says that appropriations are not subject to referendum. So what can be done about this oh, yes, tactic? Yes, the, maybe the most important part of your question. Um, unfortunately, very little uh, is the truth. There are really only two, well, there are really only, in principle, three things that can be done about a law. Either you uh, repeal it legislatively. That's not going to happen as long as Republicans control the state Senate, the state house, and the governorship. Yeah. Or you uh, repeal it through referendum. That's not going to happen. Uh, for two reasons. One is that the new law is referendum proof because of this appropriations. And secondly, even if it weren't uh, and could be overturned in a, re in a referendum, the Republicans would just do the same thing again and pass it as long as they control the legislature and pass a new law. The third thing is file a lawsuit. Uh, we know that the state Supreme Court would never overturn the emergency manager law because of its makeup. Um, so there are really only two possibilities. One, a federal lawsuit, uh, and I think one has been filed, but I don't know the status of it. Or two, uh, taking back the reins of our state government so that the legislature can repeal this law and prevent a new one from being enacted. 